I said in my last video that I don't have any vinyl records and I gave the reasons why I don't but I used to and a few years ago I was building kind of a collection before I gave that up and I gave them all away but the title of this video is why vinyl sounds warmer there are several reasons first of all the first biggest reason is that we have a point of comparison okay you can't you can't say vinyl is warmer than something if you don't have anything to compare it with and today we have digital to compare it with besides having that point of comparison there might be a psychological reason and that's nostalgia um people associate uh, vinyl with with um, you know times gone by things that they possibly want to return to so that may make it sound better to them but there are technical reasons why it can sound warmer first is it doesn't have the same dynamic range as digital um, along with that it doesn't have the same resolution it doesn't have anywhere near the same resolution that digital can have um, crosstalk between channels it doesn't have that separation the same amount of separation that you'll get with digital because it's mechanical transient response will be poorer than digital along with that you'll have um, a frequency limitation I think it's around 14 15 K that vinyl records roll off start to roll off hard whereas digital really doesn't have that limitation you know based on how much uh, how many bits are used uh, when you talk about bits the comparison is around 12 bits that's the um, the resolution that you'll get from vinyl records another reason maybe the equalization that vinyl has to undergo to put the music on the disc and have it you know reproduce as close to accurate as it can um, there's equalization that happens in the process of putting it on the record beforehand compression and equalization and then there's an equalizer in your phono stage when you play the record to uh, say decode that back it uh, boosts the bass and it reduces the treble quite a bit and uh, you know it depends upon how that phono stage is set up how accurate that equalization or re-equalization is that'll affect how it sounds as well there are probably some other technical reasons that i'm forgetting about off the top of my head but i think the biggest reason is the perception reason so not technical at all it's the way that people perceive the media especially today well, there's so much, you know, I, I can't say there's so much more hype around it because in the audiophile world, vinyl never did go away. It was always there and it was always the preferred media, always in the audiophile world. But among people that just like listening to music in the most convenient way, it has lost its appeal. And it's only in the last, say, 15, 20 years that it's seen any kind of a resurgence. I mean, most major album releases these days are coming out on vinyl again this wasn't happening back in the 90s it was virtually dead in the 90s other than like i said for the audiophile collectors and people like that and even though it sounds like it this is not me hating on vinyl or putting down the people that listen to vinyl music is you know appreciation of music is first and foremost how you like doing it and if that involves um the way that records sound for you and not only that the um the ritual of getting up and you know putting the record on the platter and getting everything set up like that then there's absolutely nothing wrong with that I don't see anything wrong with that. My personal preference is for more convenience. Uh, like I said, I've had records in the past. And in reality, we have, uh, we have like a lot to be thankful for where records are concerned because really they set the standard for what we have today as far as albums go. 
because it was only with the introduction of the long play record that you had the, you know, let's say a standard album length of songs that would fit on that, uh, that piece of media. Before that, there were 78s and you could only, you could only get a couple of like, uh, I don't know exactly how many minutes you could get on each side, but it wasn't very much. The 78 stands for 78 RPM. That's how fast it was turning. The uh, physical discs were a little bit smaller than LPs. I think they were around 11. I'm not sure. I actually had some 78s and I gave those away as well. But um, the LP slowed it down to 33 and a third RPM. It also made the, the disc physically bigger and it could put, I think, around 20 minutes per side on a, you know each side of the record. So it really established the um, album as something that we have today. And so you see that carry forward into everything, even say digital. You can buy digital albums that would actually fit on a record.